Hello everyone, in this particular video we will be seeing how we can install MongoDB at a glance. So in the search bar you need to type MongoDB community server download and hit enter. So you can get this particular URL which is the official website for downloading the community server of MongoDB. So once you visit this website you can scroll down and you will get this particular download option. So here you can select the version of it. So I'll be going with the current version which is 6.0.3 and then you need to choose the operating system which you have. In my case it is Windows. So I'll be selecting Windows. Next you need to select the type of the file that you need to download. So here in our case we will select MSI file and just hit download and you can see that the downloading will start. It will take some time. Now you can see that the downloading is complete. Now just open that MSI file that has got downloaded and it will open this particular interface. Here you need to select the option next. Now after this you will be getting a their agreement policy so you can read it and just tick the checkbox. After that click next. Now here click the option complete and just click that button and it will redirect you to this particular interface. So here you need to keep everything default and click next. Now again you need to click next and finally you need to click this install button. And once you do that the installing process will start. It will take some time. So let's wait for it to install completely. Now you can see that the installation is complete. And now you need to click this finish button. And now it will open this MongoDB compass. So basically this is the interface through which you can interact with the MongoDB server. Here you need to click this button connect and you will be connected to the server. Now you can see that by default you have three different databases at the left side. You can create your custom database by just clicking here and then write the database name. Here in my case, I'll write the database name as company. So once you write the database name, next you need to write the collection name. So since this is a NoSQL database, collections in this case are nothing but tables. And then click on create database. Now you can see that on the left side, we have our database company with the collection named as employee. Now at the bottom, you can see that there is a Mongo SH which is the shell of the MongoDB. Here you can write queries through which you can interact with the server. So the query show DBS will give us the databases that, that are currently available inside our server. Now show collections command will simply give all the collections that are present in the current selected database. Now in this case we haven't selected any database so let's select the database as company so you can write this by simply writing use and then the database name which is company and now again if we write the command show collections now it will show the collections that are present inside the company database which is employee now let's try to insert one record inside the collection employee so you can do this with the command db dot the collection name which is employee dot insert now you have options for inserting one record or you can insert many record at a time but for now we will insert just one record and we can do that with the help of this particular command which is insert one and then inside the round brackets we will specify the key value pairs now since this is a NoSQL database we have to specify the key value pairs of the attributes so here we are going to define two attributes which is name and age. So once you specify this key value pair, now it's time to hit enter. So now you can see that one record has got successfully inserted in the collection employee of the database company. So if you want to check whether it has got successfully inserted, you can just write this particular query which is db dot the collection name which is employee dot find and it will find the records inside the collection. So you can see that MongoDB is working absolutely fine. So I hope you have understood the entire installation process. Thanks for watching.
If you have any doubts, you can post it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you.